Here's an analysis I just ran of the relationship between the percentage of college graduates in states, BA or more, and the percentage of female legislators. It's a simple bivariate. Down here are the coefficients. The uh, constant in this case is implausibly low. It says for every for states that have zero college graduates, the percentage of female legislators would be about 0.292%. Uh, that's implausible, of course. In the data, there is no state that has zero college uh, graduates, but, et, but uh, regression always estimates the best line and anchors it at the appropriate uh, constant. Indeed, sometimes you'll obtain uh, constants that are negative for variables that cannot assume negative values. Uh, the idea here is just to find, find a plausible uh, uh, minimum. On that caveat aside, uh, what have we got here? The regression says that for every one percentage point increase in the, in the state's population with a college degree, the percentage of female legislators goes up by 0.878 of a percentage point. So it's almost a one-to-one -one relationship as, uh, as college goes up, uh, the percentage of female legislators goes up. Could it have happened by chance when we took the sample? Not according to the T statistic, which is 5.104, well over the, the sort of the, the general rule value of uh, magnitudes of two. Uh, SIG, 0.000, uh, if the null hypothesis is correct, under that assumption, we would obtain this data 0% of the time, reject the null hypothesis. We got a pretty healthy R square here, adjusted R square, 0.338 of all the variation across states in the percentage of female legislators, we can account for about a third, 33.8%, uh, by knowing the percentage of the population with a college degree or higher. Now let's look down here at this graphic. This is a scatter plot that's been rather heavily edited uh, of the relationship we just analyzed in, in the regression. We see the independent variable along the uh, x-axis, the horizontal axis, the percentage college or higher, and we have percent of female legislators, WIM Ledge 2015 on the vertical. Each of these dots, of course, represents a state. The dashed line uh, is the regression line that we just estimated from this equation. So SPSS really does a very nice job of graphically de depicting bivariate relationships, particularly when there are not uh, a lot of cases. For example, we could do this with the nations or the world data set and also with the state's data set. This, is, this graphic comes very close to what Ed, Edward R. Tufte, who's sort of the guru of uh, the visual display of quantitative information, would call an erased graphic. All the non-essential graphs or graphic material has been either downplayed, sort of uh, uh, dimmed out. You see the uh, uh, the axis titles are in smaller font and they're not bold. The numbers appear along each axis without uh, decimal points. The interior of the graph is completely whited out. In fact, the axes are, are, are gone too. Your eye is naturally drawn then to the array of points which have been colorized here uh, with the color of your choice and the regression line which uh, summarizes the relationship. Let's go through the steps here. Some of them are pretty tedious, but let's go through the steps uh, that would create or recreate the graphic you see. Go to Graphs, Legacy Dialogues, drop all the way down to Scatter Dot. You can, it's, we just want a simple Scatter Dot, so you can just click right through this uh, window, click Define. We're going to find the uh, uh, independent variable, in this case is BA or more, goes in the x-axis. We'll go find the dependent variable, which is WIMLEDGE2015. To get the basic graph, that's all we need to do. Let's click OK. And here's the drab-looking uh, default uh, scatter plot uh, that SPSS gives us. Let's uh, get into the editor and just start making these changes. I double-click. I'm in the editor. Uh, I'm going to first create the regression line. Now, SPSS's icons are so unassuming. I mean, it's just hard to know what they do. If you hover on this one, 
says add fit line at total. That actually in SPSS speak that means add the regression line. I'm going to click that and the line appears along with a, I think a kind of a distracting uh, representation of the regression uh, coefficient or regression equation. We'll take care of that later. It does select the line, opens the properties window, allows us to edit the line. Let's make the line not so obtrusive. Click the lines tab Click the style drop down. Pick one of the dashed forms. Maybe this one. It's, it's personal taste, but the dashed line is not as uh, intrusive to the eye as a solid line. Click apply. Okay, the line is now uh, created in, in dashed form. Let's uh, now edit the dots. I'm just going to click on one of the data points here. SPSS selects all of them. I'm going to go and click fill and notice that, that, that they have no fill, only border. So let's just give it a nice dark fill, like a dark blue or even a black. I'll click the blue. It's just up to personal choice here. Okay, now they're all filled with blue. Now let's pursue sort of a Edward Tufte-esque uh, whiting out or erasing of this graph. Let's get rid of all the distracting color and clutter. I'm going to click anywhere in the graphic space, in the box, if you will. It selects the entire box, or, or entire graph area. I'm going to click Fill and click uh, White. I'm going to white that out. Okay. I'm going to click Border. Now this will do a pretty good, it will not do a complete job of whiting out the border because it doesn't white out the axes, but it's a start. Click Border, click White, click Apply. All right, now we're making some progress here. Now let's work on the axes one at a time. Let's start with the y-axis. We want to we want to take out the decimal points. We don't need uh, two decimal points here. We're going to uh, uh, make the we're going to unbold the title of the axis, and we'll do the same thing down on the x-axis. Click up here, which just says y. Select the y-axis. Now it's selected. Uh, first, let's go to lines. We'll white out the line. See, notice it's, it's, it's still a dark. It's selected. Click white, click apply. Now it's going to be completely whited out. Uh, now let's go to number format, uh, this tab here. Notice that it's giving us two decimal points. Get rid of the two, replace it with a zero, and click apply. Okay, now the axis is just down to uh, uh, whole numbers. Um, now click on the axis title. The title itself is okay. We'll keep the we'll keep the text of it. That selects it. Let's unbold it. Go to normal. I'll go ahead and apply that. And you, let's make it a little smaller. It's 11 font. Let's say preferred size 10, just to de-emphasize this text. There we go. All right. Now let's do the same thing on the x-axis. I'm going to go up here to the main menu bar and click X. That selects the x-axis. Uh, we'll go, uh, uh, first of all, aligns, white out the line, apply. Now it's whited out. Now we'll go to number format, make the two zero, apply that. Okay, those digits are gone. Click on the title. It's bold now. Let's unbold it. I'm going to select normal. And then we'll do preferred size 10. And go ahead and apply those changes. All right, there's just a couple other things to do here. Uh, the first is this uh, equation that's in this box. I, I, I don't know why SBSS does that. We're going to select that. And then we're going to go to the reference line tab up here and uncheck attach label to line and apply. Boom, it's gone. The only other thing is this R squared linear box up here. That's also, I, I think, distracting. It's up to you though. I would select it. It'll select the whole box. I would hit delete and that particular uh, text element is gone. Okay, I think we're there. I'm going to get out of the editor. We have a nicely edited and uh, Tufty-like erased 
uh, scatter plot.